Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be um, working out the volume of a of gas produced from a reaction. And what I've been given in this particular example is the mass of one of the reactants. So the question says, what volume of hydrogen gas is produced when 15 grams of sodium is reacted with excess water? Okay, so first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do here is write out a balanced equation. So we know that sodium is reacting, let me change the color here. We know that sodium is reacting with excess water. So therefore the reaction is gonna be um, N, let me just write this equation in blue, Na plus H2O, and this is going to be a solid, so NAS and H2O is the liquid, um, reacts to produce, um, and when, when metals react with, when group 1 metals specifically react with um, reactive water, what they produce is a metal hydroxide, which is, um, in this case, it's going to be NaOH, and it also produces gas, hydrogen gas, so H2. And now that I've written out the equation, I need to balance the equation. And so to balance this equation out, um, so for sodiums on this side, I have one sodium atom, hydrogens, I have two hydrogens, and oxygens, I have one oxygen. On this side, I have... Uh, sodiums I have uh, one sodium and oxygens I have one oxygen and hydrogens I have three hydrogens so the first thing which I can do here to balance the let me see the, the sodiums are balanced but let me balance out the hydrogens so one one thing I can do here is get both hydrogens on both sides up to four and the way I can do this is multiply the H2O by 2. So this is going to be now 4 hydrogens. And I can multiply the, the H and the NaOH by 2. And that would make it 4 hydrogens on this side as well. And, well, multiplying that by 2 means that the oxygens on this side will be increased to 2. And the sodiums will be increased to 2. And the oxygens are going to be increased to 2 as well. And so it's not balanced yet. Now, now that there's two sodiums here, the, the only thing I can really do on this side is multiply the sodiums by two. And for oxygens, well, the oxygens are now balanced. The sodiums, well, yeah, sodiums are now balanced and hydrogens are balanced. So now that we've balanced the equation, we can go into working out um, the number of moles of, 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 of sodium, since we have the mass. So... Using the equation number of moles equals mass divided by big M, molar mass, we can say that the number of moles of of, of um, sodium, Na, is equal to the mass, 15 grams, divided by the molar mass of sodium. And to find out the molar mass of sodium, I'm going to take a look at the periodic table. This one I got from, from OCR. And the, the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23.0. So therefore, that's going to be the molar mass as well. So 23.0. And we don't take this two into account right now because this is the part of the molar ratios of the reaction. We're focusing right now on the, the element, the, the um, one sodium atom as an example. Now, dividing the 15 by 23, what we're going to get is... We're going to see 15 divided by 23. What we get is 0 0.652. So 0 0.652. And that, well, 652. And that would be to three significant figures. Now what we do with this is we now look at the molar ratios in this equation. And... If, now what we're focusing on right now is the mass is the, is the volume of hydrogen gas the only, that's the only really thing we were concerned about in this particular um, problem so we're looking at the ratio between h2 here and sodium here and the ratio as you can see is a two to one ratio that means for every 0 0.652 moles of sodium that reacts half of this amount of moles of 
hydrogen is going to be hydrogen gas is going to be produced and therefore the moles of sodium is going to be the the number of moles of 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 not sodium of hydrogen of hydrogen gas is going to be 0 0.652 divided by 2 and now the next stage in this in this question is to work out the volume so now i've got the the um number of moles if i work this out i get Zero point three two six. Zero point three two six. And this is slightly different from working out masses because now we're going into a stage where we can use the mo number of moles we've discovered to work out the volume. And to work out the volume, we don't actually need to know the molar mass of this molecule. All we need to know is the number of moles. And since the decimeters cubed is the standard unit for measuring volume, I'm going to work out the volume in decimeters cubed. So, so the equation for volume is that for one for for, for a specific number of moles, <coughs> that's going to be equal to whatever the volume is. And as I said, I'm going to do this in decimeters cubed divided by twenty four, and that's going to be the molar molar volume. So, decimeters cubed per mole. And so, what we do is to rearrange this for the volume. We multiply both sides of this equation by 24 so the number of moles times 24 is going to equal the volume in decimeters cubed therefore the um, 0 0.326 which is the the moles the number of moles of hydrogen gas 0 0.326 times 24 equals the volume and if I put make volume the subject, so put volume over here. Therefore, the volume equals. Let me work this out. Zero point three two six multiplied by twenty four equals seven point eight two four. Seven point eight two four, and this is going to be in decimeters cubed. So therefore, the volume occupied by this particular um, number of moles of hydrogen is 7.824 decimeters cubed and to three significant figures that would be 7.82 decimeters cubed three significant figures so that's how we'd work that out 